you could slaughter four hours with all those subjects. But when you're oh, tied down to yeah. two hours of Raw and a pay-per-view coming up this weekend, and that's all you got to talk about, three hours is a long freaking time. And R.C. Cola will tell you all about it. <laughs> Ask R.C. Cola, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you got a roll tonight, huh? <laughs> By the way, Jeremy Piven was confirmed to be a, a future Raw guest host, too, which I don't like that one. Shaq, I get. Snoop, yeah. I get. Jeremy Piven, I, I don't I don't like it. Do you know, um... Uh, no, I'll skip that. He's kind of like the Jeremy Boris of actors, too. I just hate that dude, Jeremy Piven. But that's his job. He's always, He always plays the asshole on purpose. So it's just acting, but he, he does what a good I, job. What if I told you that um, Cheryl Crow was going to be a, uh, a future Raw General Manager? I don't like right. it. You don't like it? I don't like it. Uh, she's hot, yeah. but she's not going to look like anything next to Divas, and I don't like her music, and she's not that entertaining, I wouldn't think, so I don't see anything good uh, you know, coming out of that. It may that was been. easy top, by the way. I, I didn't watch Raw. It was... <laughs> oh, God, man. That like, bad? Yeah. Oh, on yesterday's show, we uh, we went on a rant about that. Yeah, that was horrible. Horrible, was horrible, horrible. You were telling me online it's one of the worst Raws in, in a long time. So It was horrible. It was brutally bad, man. I uh, I don't know. I don't. We'll skip over Monday Night Raw. We uh, <laughs> we ran it. Yeah, I mean it was horrible, 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 horrible. Um, let me give out the live phone numbers. Do we have some callers? Hey, we've got one here. Uh, one. To, uh, the, 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 the phone number to call us live is seven two four 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 seven four four four. Call ID number is three zero two seven three. Followed by the pound key. Perfect. Got to be for you. Uh, wasn't it perfect? Perfect. Slow it down a little bit. Let's, yes. uh, I guess I don't know how to do this. I'm such a I'm such a shitty producer. But I'm gonna try oh, that's right. Anyway. You're producing tonight, yeah. Uh, dude, next week too. I've got to. Uh, I've got. We to... got two callers on hold, and I know that. I can. I'm staring right at them. So. All right. Well, could give us the call. Oh, we Callie just one. called in. Get Callie on, man. Get Callie on. All right. Before we get Callie, caller from southeastern Florida, Monroe County. You're live on WZR Radio. What's up? I wanted to know, do you think once Sting's TNA contract is up, do you think he'll go to WWE or not? Nah. Sting has made it pretty clear he's never going to work in WWE. He's older now. He doesn't have much time left. I think he does another year or two, at, at the most two years, and then I think he's probably going to hang him up, you know, aside from the occasional appearance here and there maybe in the no, I think the Hall of Fame thing. I think at some point they'll put him in the uh in the WWE Hall of Fame. Just to get him on their T V and maybe do a DVD with him, probably. Yeah, yeah, something something along But as far as I'm talking as far as like Raw SmackDown or on T V, I don't he'll never be there. Yeah, I don't I, I don't see him on uh on on, on WWE. Not a not a full time return. I mean there's talk that he may not even re sign with, with TNA. Yeah, after, I've heard yeah. that. You know, so I mean, they may. But according to what I what I read, they, he says that every year, and they get him. So who knows? That way, you're live on WZR Radio. What's up, man? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, a quick question, or a couple actually. Um, I heard, or, or you know, internet, whatever, that WWE might go PG uh, 13. So are they going to go? And if they go, would that mean they'd be able to do like they had that lead in the edge like sex scene, where they be able to do stuff like that again, or show blood? You know, like, you know, people bust it open if they go PG-13, or is it only 14, you think? I don't know how I, I don't know how the rating system works as far as what you're allowed to do. Ryan, you're a big TV guy. You might know that more than me. I think they're going to take a, a, a slow approach. I mean, we saw... No, but I'm saying um, PG-13, are you allowed to do stuff like the the Edge lead a live sex, and, the, and are you allowed to show blood? I sure, think no, yeah. I, I, sex I, stuff? I, I was, I would say PG thirteen is is parental guidance under under thirteen. I would say blood would be. Blood, uh, definitely. What's the, what, well, what's the difference between PG thirteen and PG fourteen? I'm not. Uh, I didn't I'm even not, know there was a PG fourteen. To be honest with you, who, who the really? hell knows, man? <laughs> there's a there's a there's a PG thirteen and a PG fourteen. But I would say I would say as far as the divas are concerned, I mean, you saw them dancing and stripping around on on Raw this past yeah. Monday night. You know, I, I think they're gonna take. Weren't they in like a big swimsuit swimsuit thing during the Seth Green Raw too? So. Yeah, yeah, they had a, a swimsuit match. Um, yeah. Titties jiggling all over the place. Come on. 
I mean, and you're not going to, they're not going to, you're not going to see blood on a weekly basis. They're not going to over, over abuse it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, true. But slowly but surely. It's not the end anymore, you know. And, and hopefully they show the Playboy again with the Divas, but I don't know if that'll be, uh, uh, I don't know. yeah, I don't know if they'll go that That far. deal's done. That deal's oh, done. It's, it's over with. All right. And one last question. I've been also hearing about the Fedor or Fedor uh, Lashley. Is that legit? And if it is, I'm pretty sure I've seen Lashley fight a couple of times. All he does is try to take you down and throw punches or choke you out or whatever. If he tries that with Fedor or Fedor, you think Fedor just kind of blow him so quick and choke him out or make him tap or something, that'll be his first loss if it happens? Or does Lashley have any kind of chance against Fedor at all if they do fight uh, next week or whatever? I, I said the last time when you asked me about Fedor versus Brock, uh, I said Fedor kills him. But Brock... There's a chance he could win that. Very, very small chance, but there's a chance he could win that. Other people disagree. Other people think that's a close fight, but they most most of them give it to Fedor. Fedor Lashley, Lashley has no chance in hell, not at this point in his career. And to update you on the story, because I actually have some exclusive information, courtesy of www.mmanews.com, uh, we talked to American Top Team, who Lashley trains with, uh, and one of his uh, publicists or manager or agent, whatever the hell, and... Um, uh, Affliction did want him to take the fight. They offered him the fight. They were that's who they that's who they wanted to take the fight originally was Bobby Lashley. He turned it down because he said ten days is not enough notice to train for somebody like Fedor because uh, his next scheduled fight, which is another exclusive at MMAnews.com, is uh, October third in Denver. He can, he exclusively gave us that scoop. So Bobby Lashley will be fighting again October third in Denver. But because that fight's so far away, he hasn't been in like training for a fight. He's just been doing some light workouts or whatever. So he's nowhere near in shape. The guy they're going with, Vitor Belfort, who's a 185-pounder, has no business fighting Fedor, but he's a he's a big enough name that you could still sell a couple pay-per-views. He's just going to put on weight because he was already training for a fight on the same card. He was going to fight uh, George Santiago in a middleweight fight. So now he's just going to move up to the heavyweight and fight Fedor instead, and they're looking for a replacement for him to fight Santiago. So there's your update on that. But well, wasn't Brett Rogers also rumored to... Brett uh, Rogers is being considered, yeah, definitely. But Vitor Belfort, uh, I've actually heard, um, I actually know for a fact, has already signed the contract. That doesn't mean it's official because Fedor still has to sign a new contract to fight Vitor instead of Barnett, but, you know. By the way, we didn't even explain why that fight's off uh, before he asked the question. So did you want to talk about that a little bit? I was just going to say, I was just going to say, what's up with Barnett? I mean, guy got suspended for, for the second time for for a drug test failure. Yeah, but right. the last time he, he he's a former UFC heavyweight champion. Before um, was it before the Vertitas bought the company? It was either before the Vertitas bought the company or right after. It was in the 30s, the UFC 30s, somewhere around there. Uh, he beat Randy Couture, uh, crushed his eye socket, his orbital bone with elbows, and uh, the fight was stopped because Randy couldn't continue in the middle of the round. And Barnett became the heavyweight champion of the UFC. Uh, he never got to defend that title and has never been seen in the UFC since because he failed his post-fight drug test and uh, was stripped of the title and was not allowed to fight in Vegas for however many years. This was his first time fighting in America, I believe, since then. I'm not sure. He, he might have done one of the Pride Vegas shows, but I think this would have been his American return. So they were going to be watching him hard anyway, even though it's in California instead of Vegas, which is a different state commission. Um, they were going to be watching him pretty hardcore. So the fact that he would put anything in his body is just absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, it's an, it's amazingly stupid by him. Uh, He's, well, he's gonna have here, a hard time overcoming. Dude, I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I, I mean to compare it to another sport right now with NASCAR. They've got this, uh, oh God, what's the guy's name? Jeremy Mayfield um, tested Jeremy. positive for Jeremy. I don't know how I know that either, but yeah. Yeah, Jeremy Mayfield uh, tested positive for methamphetamine, and you know was on the path to make a comeback, and bang. Last week they test him again, and he's got the same thing in his body. You know, and it's, yes. it's like mm. a lot of people think doing? they've 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 mastered the art of beating the drug test, and a lot of people have. But if you're coming off of a suspension, you know they're going to watch you even more closely. Oh, yeah. They can oh, give yeah. you a random drug test, a surprise drug test, whatever. As long as your name's on a contract to a fight or a race or whatever the sport is, they can drug test you at random by the you know the athletic commissions. Well, for sports, for the athletic commission. So the fact that you would even, you know, it, it's retarded. I have no idea what they, what these people are thinking. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, that would have been Fedor, the number one fighter in the world, against Josh Barnett, the number two fighter in the world, basically, 
right? I mean, Brock, Brock's I mean, number two, even even by people who don't like Brock. They, they, they're willing right. to admit he's probably number two now. Okay. Um, and, you know, some people might still have Noguera or Couture in there somewhere, but Barnett is clearly the only guy not in the UFC worth a shit that could fight Fedor. And yeah. quite frankly, you disagree with me. And I, I did pick Fedor to win that fight. He should have won it, but uh, and easily. But Barnett is one of very few guys, including UFC fighters, that I see even standing a chance against Fedor. So the fact that he blew the opportunity, uh, he's never going to get it again. Um, I, bad news for I, him, man. I don't see it at all, bro. I, I just I see Fedor just destroying. Maybe I just maybe I don't know know enough about Barnett. I mean, I've seen his fights. Yeah, you know Fedor I mean? should destroy him. I'm just saying, Barnett is one of few people who actually has the skills available if he fights right. 100% and Fedor makes 